Good morning. On this video, I'm going to teach you how to tape around nice tight curves using fine line tapes so you'll be able to achieve a nice, almost invisible fine line on your new paint job. Alright, I'm Leon Kaputulan. I'm the first mate of the beautiful 45 meter motor yacht. And I've been in this industry for the last 29 years. So, if you want to learn something from a veteran like me, stay tuned. It's coming right up. Okay, what you need is a uh, two inch tape yellow tape on one inch and around what, six mil um, fine line tape okay the yellow tape doesn't have such a harsh uh, adhesive in it you know it's uh, it, unlike the unlike the blue tape but this thing this tape is good it's good for uh, a, a new paint job like this this is been recently painted so it's not so cured yet so it's a uh, so this is comes handy it's not so brutal on your new pin job okay so first what you do you use the one inch tape and by the way we're gonna paint this frame we are painting this frame because uh, this we have painted last week the the big surface all the way down there so this time we're gonna paint the frame only this frame only we're gonna paint okay so what we're gonna do we're gonna tape it up separate it into this new paint job so what you do first is put your one inch tape okay one inch and then we are gonna paint this frame we are gonna paint this but uh, do not do not put your yellow tape right into the edge all right because we're gonna paint this frame do not put your tape right onto the edge leave around three mil of the uh, three mil of the uh, 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 gap okay and then because what's gonna happen is uh, this fine line tape will finish it off and then this is when uh, the spine line tip comes in handy you see so this this goes this this spine line tape this goes over the yellow tape okay so it you, you put it over and this will finish the rest of the taping so this is where we're gonna where we're gonna paint the this you see it's finished now so the thing is the reason why uh, the reason why you do this you put this fine line tape over the yellow the big tape is when you finish painting you can easily peel this off only this and then you'll be able to achieve an almost invisible fine line between this surface and the frame okay so it's a uh, you will not see it because it will be so minute it was the the line will be so fine that's why this is called fine line tape fine line tape. plus once you're done painting you'll take the the fine line tape off and then the edge the edge of the new paint will have time to to flow so it's not it's not such a sharp edge because what happens is if you take this the you take this off when the paint is already dried and then when you take it off you will have a sharp edge and you can see it because dirt usually goes in there easily you know but taking it off just when you finish painting it will give it some nice nice almost invisible edge all right so let's finish off the taping i'll show you how to tape the curves you have to tape the rest just just roughly follow the curb you know with your 
with your one inch tape just wrap your palette it because you'll finish it off with the fine line tape I'll show you alright let's do the let's do the final fine lining and then you go like this that's it once you reach the curve you have to you have to manipulate the tape, the, the fine line tape. You have to stretch it slightly. Not too much until it snaps, no. Just slightly. So what happens is if you if you don't stretch it, it doesn't follow the sweeping curve nicely, you know, it leaves it leaves uh, it leaves folds on the on the tape and then when you paint the paint will just find its way into the folds and then it goes into your the area where you don't want the paint to be you know it's 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 that's so you just slightly stretch your fine line tape manipulate it to follow the sweeping curve just manipulate it stretch it just a good enough stretch to follow the curb like so and then you have a nice curb without any folds all right that's that's what you want to try to achieve all right and then the rest same thing stretch it manipulate your tape so it will follow a nice sweeping curb That's it. Press it down. You know. Nice. Like that. And then once you once it joins nicely, finish it off by putting the tape on its side like that. You see because uh, because the reason is later on when you finish the painting, you can just easily pick it with your finger like that rather than finding where the tape ends. So by doing something like that, then you can easily just peel it off when the painting is done you know and then just to finish it off this is where your two inch tape <coughs> comes in handy you know it's not really necessary but you know it's nice to have an insurance so you know because while once you're painting you will be you will just focus on your paint job you know so it's nice to have an extra protection not really necessary but it's nice to have it yeah. That's it, and then you finish it up with your two inch tape. Yeah, good. Alright, and that's how you get this taped up ready for painting, especially when a nice sweeping curves like this. Alright, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, Comment down below and don't forget to subscribe. Alright, thanks for watching.